ladies and gentlemen, Mike Bristol with the great John Walls, 92 to 96, uh, Rochester guy. Absolutely. First of all, did you always want to come to Q's? Ever since uh, I saw Pearl Washington hit that shot. The half quarter. And from against Boston College. Uh, I remember watching the game. Run right out the he court. Ran right out the court, and I was just like, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to be. And then uh, it was only cemented further, further cemented when uh, Billy Owens and Derek Coleman was there. I, yeah. mean, I, I watched every Q's game that they ever played in. Carried on to 44. After, Tried to, and, you know. Uh, you know, it was uh, honestly, I was leaning towards other schools, and, and then when Syracuse got involved, I pretty much told every school, don't even waste your time. I'm going Cuse. Absolutely. They You're are. a warrior. You, <laughs> you ever want, you remember that uh, NBA All Star video with Charles Barkley, Bird, Magic? I don't know if there's music to it, and Barkley had the warrior, the mm -hmm. music of the warrior. You're, you're, you were the warrior at Cuse. I mean, no matter what, you want to talk about intense? This guy is Mr. Intensity on the basketball court. I try to be, man, but you know, if, if you play hard at all times, your teammates pick up their play, and you, uh, you're more apt to get, you know, wins or beat teams that you might, uh, you know, if you come in lackadaisical, you'd win, lose some of those games. So. You have a unique ability, too. You, you could, I mean, let's be honest, you can put the ball on the floor, you can hit the three, you like going to the basket, dunking on guys, you grab, you know, you know boards, you, you, you know, you could, as a big guy, a lot of times, you know, people think, ah, uh, you know, he's just going to be good at, you know, post moves or well, he's just, that's why we're forward you. Yeah. Beheim really lets you just play your game. He lets you develop your game. As long as it's not detrimental to the team, he lets you play your game. So my, you know, if you look at my shots that I took from my freshman year to my sophomore year to yeah. my junior year to my senior, I increased you and know, it improved. My, my, yeah. my shot and it, my percentage has stayed pretty much the same, even though I've taken shots from further out. So that was a testament to coach, like putting the confidence in me and me putting in the work. I wore out a couple of shoot machines while I was here. <laughs> we made it to the Final Four, an incredible year this year. You got to the national championship game against Kentucky. You had an unbelievable game. Bad foul call. You lost that game, but it was an incredible ba uh, basketball game up to that point, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's a really good game. Uh, it's, it's the only game I've never watched before. Uh, never watched it since. I've never watched it. Uh, I don't want to watch it. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but like before the game's over, I was already in the locker room. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I've never felt that kind of anguish and just, just being so distraught for days because I just, I had, I had dreams of us winning the game. I knew we were going to win the game. And I remember when uh, Tony Delk hit the four point play in the yeah. corner on Ty Berg and, I, and that was the last points he scored. And we're in the huddle and coach is like, you know, coach, he doesn't lose his cool. So he's just sitting there and I'm just like, look, it's nothing to be said. They made their run. Now we're going to make our run. And we went out and we made our run. and. You know, it's only the, 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 my last foul call is the only time, honestly, that in the 10 years Lazarus and I played together that we weren't, we weren't on the same page. I was asking for the line, and he threw the chest pass, and it got deflected. So, but that was the only time, and, you know, I, don't, I still don't think when I was trying to recover the ball that it was a foul. And I, you know, after the, uh, I fouled out, I went up to every, all three reps, and I told them they jerked me on my, um, my final <laughs> college game. You know, what did they say? Anybody yeah, say anything? Whatever. I mean, yeah. I said some other things to them. You know, at that point, you know, I was, I don't know if I was trying to get a T, but I had to let, I had to let it be known the way I was feeling. So, and they know. Yeah, they <laughs> still know. Absolutely. You played, you mentioned Lazar Sims, outstanding point guard. Henniger came to Syracuse, had a great career, and just a guy that smooth passer, always feeding you, and, and you know, just like you. Best passer I ever played with, even yeah. in, out of NBA guys. He was, he was always, a, he was very similar to Jason Kidd. The couple times I played with Jason at, He's always a couple plays ahead. Head, yeah. You know, Lazarus is just, he was a, every team he's ever played on one because, you know, he's a consummate pass first point guard. Yeah. So when you got a guy that's passing, you're trying to get open because you know when you get open, you're going to get it. So he, he made our, you know, he, he made our team, you know, that much better that year because of everyone knew they can get the ball when they got open. So. Which is a great point guard, which is what you want. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, Todd Bergen, you had a little lefty there, Todd hanging out with you and the rest of that squad. Um, Syracuse now, and, and I was talking about some of the current players, but you know now in the ACC, you know the Big East was such an amazing run. I know it's got to be sad, and it's got to be something. I know Coach for a long for me time. It sucks. I'm gonna be honest with you because <laughs> I'm a I'm a Big East guy. I, yeah. I mean, I can, I can remember watching Patrick Ewing and uh, Chris Mullen and the lefty. All, all the guys, all those great '80s teams, yeah. man. That you know, just battling and and the Big East tournament was like. You know, it was like the NBA Finals back yeah. then. And, yeah. you know, pretty much every NBA scout was at all the Big East games because, you know, we had so much talent. And it's, you know, I, I felt like, you know, once we expanded, it took a while, but then all the, the, those teams started getting strong. And so, like, five, six years ago, we had, like, 
maybe the strongest part of the biggies when we had like I don't know 10 teams go to the NCAA tournament that one year right. 11 teams yeah. so I felt I wish they had just kept that together and disperse whatever like we you want to put us in ACC for football go ahead but, you know but keep the basketball biggies yeah, together because yeah. that's that, that'd be like breaking up the SEC football in my opinion which would be detrimental but you're not going to do it I know yeah, football's making more money and all that stuff yeah, but, yeah. so I know it's about football and money but I just can't believe there's no more Big East basketball pertaining to Syracuse. I got to finish up with this. You played in the NBA um, some amazing years. And I always look at the NBA like 88 to whatever, late 90s, some of the greatest basketball. Oh, yeah. Greatest players. Never will see it again. Hmm. Talk about those guys, you know, where you got, you know, Michael Jordan. I mean, unbelievable talent. Every night you had you had to uh, have your boots strapped up and be ready. and. It, it, if it wasn't a, uh, an incredible individual like Jordan, Barkley, Ewing, you know, and especially Malone, that four Stockton, spot too that you're battling guys. guys. Then it was just really good, good teams, man. Mm. That uh, and obviously Chicago dominated the the, the '90s, you know, with Jordan winning six uh, championships in the '90s. Pippen, but, he had an unbelievable coup coach. But, what a but, team too. But all the other teams that they were beating were really good. Yeah. It's just that that team was great, and they and were Detroit, beating really good and, teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that. That era, like you said, man, it's never going to be duplicated. Th think about from, I don't know, 85, 86 to right. 98. How many of those players that played are in an all-time top 50? Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, a Unbelievable. lot of those guys from that era is in the top yeah. 50 for a reason. <laughs> it's like 60% it's like of the guys. Yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, it's never going to be duplicated. Yeah. Man. And nor should it. I just wish the Big East would come back to Syracuse. The outstanding John Wallace, ladies and gentlemen, my guy. Thank you. Thanks, J-Dubs.